so I intended for last week's video to pretty much be like the end of me looking at Roaring Heights for a while. I feel like this world needs a little bit of work, but I already have other videos that I have planned out. So I was like, I don't really want to look at this world for a while. We'll circle back around eventually. However, in the last video, a lot of y'all were saying, CJ, check out the library, check out the library. The library is horrible. And to myself, I was like, it can't be that bad. Y'all, this library is horrible. Like all the people that was telling me that, y'all are 100% right. This library is horrible horrible from the outside it doesn't really look that bad it kind of looks like ua high from my hero academia it looks very fancy looks like it would be super big however when you open it up y'all this place is horrible oh yeah by the way this little section right here isn't really even real it's just like a shell just as a little bit of a disclaimer i'm gonna probably delete it because i hate it like i, I hate that so much but anyway <laughs> when you open up the library y'all this place is so sad we're gonna go ahead and zoom all the way down okay so you enter in like the basement area so down here you just have a couple of parking spaces to me this is like a waste of space i mean you could add more lights or something more parking spaces and then when you go upstairs it's even sadder to me the sims team didn't even try like i know i've been saying that a lot with this world recently i genuinely feel like they did not try look at all of this empty space first of all what is the color scheme like this is just a stylistic choice why does everything look super wooden and old and scraped up can somebody explain that to me please because i don't get it i do like how the bookshelves are like rounded i think that took a little bit of effort to do but everything else no you have these two baby chairs literally if they just would have made this into like a sectional or something this would have been a lot better in my opinion at least it would fill in more space and stuff like that right you have this awkward shaped counter over here i don't get it like this room back here is super dark there's like only two windows beside each other like what's going on here at all i don't get it the bathrooms are so big for no reason and on top of that you have all of these bathroom stalls and urinals but you only have two sinks in the bathroom and the only light is this little light and y'all know we talked about this light in the last video why is there only one light i'm so confused like you know what and it's interesting too because this lot uses these by debug lights so clearly somebody thought about the fact that this building was kind of dark right i don't get what was going on but i do know that i want to change it for the better like even at the top is it's just it's not giving y'all <laughs> like i don't know what was going on here but i know that we need to change it for today's video i get what they were trying to go for at least from the outside you know like a high rise nice library but i'm gonna be honest with y'all this needs to go this is like one of the things i hate the most about rowing heights i just don't like these fake shells i i just i don't think we need it the next thing that i want to do is just bring this fence all the way around just to kind of like help fill in this little area i just think that this will look a lot better in my opinion see literally just doing something like that to me makes a world of difference to be honest this library does have multiple floors but it does not need to be that tall that's just a personal opinion like i, I don't get it <laughs> but i feel like just doing something like this makes it a lot better from the outside I don't really know what was going on with this tile. I'm going to probably have to circle back around to that, but we have got to fix the inside first because first and foremost, it needs some lights and it also needs some windows. I like the little design they have with the tile, but I might actually get rid of it. Maybe what I'll do is just make it a little bit darker down here. And then I want to get some more parking spaces just to kind of help fill in more space. Honestly, I feel like instead of them being slanted, we could just have them be like this i guess while i'm at it i could also add more windows up here too so i added a couple of windows i also changed the wallpaper i went with this brick design and next up i want to change the floor as well we could just go for like a simple floor doesn't really have to be too fancy i also want to change the color of the stairs because i'm gonna be real y'all i still don't understand why so many things in this world it uses like this brownish color i don't get it i don't like it we're gonna change it <laughs> everything needs to change we have this light from roaring heights maybe i could put like three of them like this i'm trying to figure out what i should add down here because i feel like it's just so empty and i was thinking what i could do honestly is maybe have like a little reading room or chill room over here in the back just in case your sims come here and they don't really want to like go upstairs to read maybe we can have like a little private reading room or something like that over here okay so i think we could do a wallpaper like this i might make the blue a little bit darker but i think just a nice simple wallpaper like this this could kind of fit in so all that we have to do now is just get a couple of these chairs like so i don't know honestly i have no idea how i want this to go maybe what i could do right is we'll have a couple of these like in the middle like this we'll probably have like a nice rug or something underneath it maybe like one of those big ones from the base game we could have a little coffee table or something in the middle of it and then now all i have to do is just add a bunch of bookshelves honestly i think there's like a long bookshelf that we could use oh yeah we have this one i want to make sure to add a lot of them in here just to 
it kind of fill in a lot of space. Oh, I almost forgot about the artwork. We got to put some art up in here. Yeah, we can use some of these nice pieces of art. There's also this one that we could put up maybe just like in the corner and then we could just like change the swatch. Honestly, I'm liking how this room is turning out. I think it's looking pretty good so far, y'all. We have more floors that we need to worry about, but I just kind of feel like at least this is looking pretty decent. You have like a nice little chill spot. You can come and read books. Okay, well, I think we're pretty much done with down here. Now we got to go upstairs to worry about the rest because it is looking really rough up here y'all now i was trying to figure out do i want to go for like a colorful pastel kind of vibe or do i want to go for like something a little bit more sophisticated i am kind of inspired by the downstairs portion i'm not gonna lie so i could use some of the same wallpaper and honestly like you know we'll recolor it and stuff like that but i do kind of think we should go for something a little bit more classy seeing as how the outside is really classy you know i also realized i need to get some more by debug lights because it is so dark down here i still don't understand this bathroom situation situation just putting a couple more debug lights would make it look a lot better i don't know what they were going for i don't understand what it was thinking about what are these random bookshelves in here and you see how this one y'all isn't even the same color as this one like they did not care <laughs> <laughs> the sims team was like sims 4 about to come out we don't we don't care and it shows because what the heck is going on i need to figure out what this floor plan is what this layout is because it's kind of stressing me out not gonna lie let's just delete walls okay we're gonna just start here delete this i think i'm gonna delete this wall as well and we can replace this with a half wall just so it won't be as tall like honestly a half wall like this wouldn't be so bad i don't know if this is a little bit too modern for this type of build but for right now i'm gonna leave that i mean we do have some other options but i think i'm gonna to leave this half wall it just looks better in my opinion i like it more we're just gonna go for that okay i need to figure out what's going on back here we're just gonna delete this wall oh yeah we can have like a kid's corner i'm gonna also redo the bathroom because i don't really know what was going on with it it's kind of weirdly shaped i feel like for the bathroom we should probably make it a couple tiles smaller we don't really need a gigantic bathroom i kind of like this wallpaper y'all especially like that washed out yellow color i kind of like it i think i was a little bit inspired by like the yellowy like orangey color of the furniture we might go for that for this floor i don't know i might change it you know but i do like it for right now we need to also get rid of this wall as well maybe what we could do instead of having the bathroom be like that we could just put the doors beside each other like this and we'll just have like a wall in the middle like this and then we could have like the bathroom stalls the urinals all the things that we need to have all right so we'll get the same bathroom stalls we could probably just have them be like this and then now we could just have a couple of counters which do have these from the base game now i feel like these are more modern you know but i kind of like them they kind of i think fit the vibe that i want to go for we'll use these for the sinks in here as for a mirror should we get like one of those big ones from the base game oh i wish you could like move them close together you really can't do that which is a little bit annoying uh could i put these in the middle of it that kind of works what if i were to just use like the single tile ones and just like put them all together yeah here we go this works a little bit better okay so the bathroom is pretty much done as you can see it's kind of basic you know, they both have stalls, sinks, mirrors. They're kind of basic bathrooms, but I think it's a lot better done. And like, it doesn't have a weird layout like the other one did. So why don't we move on to like maybe this section? I was thinking that we could add a skill building room. We have like so much room in here for stuff, but I feel like we could maybe have like a couple of different skill building rooms. So maybe this one could be like art or something like that. But I was thinking we could draw a wall and then we could have like maybe an archway or something. And then we could have like some skill building objects. Maybe this one could be like an art studio or something. I'll start by placing a couple of easels out like this. We could have a, a couple more or maybe in this corner maybe i should also add a bookshelf just so your sims could read in here if you wanted them to we could have like a little sitting area maybe here i don't know if i should use like the same sectional maybe we can switch it up a little bit we can add like a couple of couches maybe we could put a coffee table in the middle i don't know if we should put a rug because it might get messy in here but we could put a rug i don't want to change the floor now that i think about it we could go for like a hardwood since it is like a paint studio you know i don't know if you'll want to get paint on your carpet so we could just like change it a little bit maybe make it a little bit darker i do like this modern looking one from the base game i think i might put maybe a couple of those up we could have one there and maybe one be like on this wall just in case your sims want to come in here and read and they don't necessarily want to paint you could just have them you know just come and chill in here and then we have like all this empty space i was thinking that i could get a couple of these rugs and maybe i can make them like a beige or a white color maybe to kind of represent like a mat or something that was placed down here i think i'm gonna get a couple of desks in here with a chair just in case sims want to like do homework or something or just come in here to chill and then maybe to finish 
off the room we could just get a poster in here okay but honestly i think i'm pretty much done with this room i love how it turned out it's pretty peaceful and calming right let's go over to the other section because i have no idea what we're gonna do y'all first up we gotta change the floor i am kind of inspired by this carpet so i might just use that in here for now all right so now i need to figure out what's going on with this office uh, it's kind of confusing i think we'll make the counter space a lot smaller and then maybe we can just kind of like circle around maybe kind of like this maybe we can make it a little bit bigger if we bring it out some like that honestly i don't even think we need a big office space but i'll have one just in case honestly i could probably just delete everything in there because like we're gonna have to change everything i fear <laughs> okay i think i need to maybe worry about this section next i want this section back here to be like a kit section most of the bookshelves are just kind of basic and i would love to use one of these or maybe like honestly one of these right here but I'm trying to keep this only base game in Roaring Heights. Roaring Heights does have a couple of these rounded ones. So if we have to, we could use those. Honestly, I kind of want to see if I can make something like that. I want to see if I can maybe have two of these back to back like this. Yes, that actually might work. Okay. And then I can get a couple of these tall ones yes to make like some rounded ones for the kids and now i could probably have a couple of these chairs back here Ooh, you know what we should do maybe like a pastel bookshelf i'm gonna also try to get a couple of toys and stuff just to kind of like put out so the kids can play with some things and then i could probably get a couple of these little rugs down here too just so they can play on them i'm gonna also get a couple of these doll houses to put down too oh and then maybe like some art and stuff we can put up okay y'all i think i got it looking how i want it to so as you can see we have a pretty nice pastel bookshelf in the middle we have a couple places to sit down around the bookshelf we have toys that kids can play with doll houses bears i have like some extra places to sit in the corners i think that's all that i want to add over here i might add some stuff later on but i think that should really be it okay so now we'll figure out what is going on with the rest honestly this isn't super bad at all i think what i might do is maybe just start here i like the idea of having like just some places to sit in here so i'm gonna add a couple of these sectionals maybe across from each other like so i want to change some of the colors of the couches as well i want to get a bookshelf maybe on this wall right here and then i could get like another one to go like beside it we could get another one to go on this wall i'll get a rug to go in the middle of it we can get like another coffee table we could get a couple of these magazines to put on it just for like some extra clutter in here i want to keep these bookshelves but i'm just going to recolor them because again i don't know what was going on with that original design it does not look good in my opinion i think i'm just going to get a couple of these chairs next and just kind of like place them around i didn't really intend for this to be like a sectional when i was explaining the build earlier but i do like it now we could get like a different color though oh you know what i have a better idea what i think i'm gonna do instead is we'll have these chairs be around but in the middle i'll put like a little end table and i can put like a lamp or something on it it'll also help fill in some space too we can use the same lamp and just put it in the center i'm gonna also get a couple of desks and just kind of place them around randomly just so your sims will have more places to do homework and to just chill I think that would be a lot better. Okay, and then as for this desk section, I do like it, but y'all know the color has to change. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a door behind it and then we can have like an office space back here. We could just use this door this one isn't so bad and then maybe what i'll do is i'll just get like a chair and we can like kind of just put it in an angle just to kind of like maybe signify that a couple of sims are at the front desk even though they're really not so for the office in here i want to make sure that i have desk and that i have bookshelves i think that's like the two biggest things that i'm actually worried about since this is like an older style bill i don't really have to worry about putting a lot of technology in here so i guess we'll just clutter it up enough to make it look like an office space you know so i'll get a couple of these bookshelves maybe i can line them up against this wall i can also have like a little sitting area in here we can use this lamp i might actually like use it in a couple other places i'll get a plant to go in here but i think that's all that i really want to do for the office space there's not much to really put in here in my opinion so i think we should leave it for now so i think that's basically this whole entire floor done we have two more floors to go y'all so luckily this floor up here isn't really that bad because there's only like really just a hallway so what i probably will do is just add some more bookshelves and just places to sit in more desk and stuff like that i think i'm gonna also change the way that it's lofted because it's kind of confusing i don't know why they went with the wavy pattern like i don't know what was going on y'all but i know that i want to change this half wall section because it's it's not really the best in my opinion we could also have some sectionals that maybe line the wall or honestly maybe like some desk 
Mm, we do need some places to sit. We could have some be up against this wall like so. Okay, so I went ahead and I did the rest of it off camera, but as you can see, there's not a lot going on upstairs. We just have some extra places to sit. There's some more desk, more bookshelves. I like to think of this as like a hallway section, you know? So why don't we go ahead and go upstairs yet again? So we have this floor and then we have one last floor. So this one, I think we're gonna do kind of like the same thing that we did last time where we just kind of like, you know, change the floor, the wallpaper, maybe just fixed a couple of the bookshelves and stuff. Okay, y'all. So I went ahead and I furnished the upstairs portion. As you can see, it's kind of similar to the other floor. We just have places to sit. It. we have a lot of desks especially in this corner there's like so many desks but i wanted to make sure that you had enough space to you know do homework or study or whatever you need a desk for maybe a laptop i don't know i also managed to squeeze a small bathroom in here all right so let's just go ahead and move on to the last floor luckily this one actually has a bathroom which i'm really happy about it's probably gonna look like the other bathrooms to be honest but it looks like this was like a classroom of some sort which i kind of like the idea of a classroom so maybe this could be like a town hall meeting area oh i kind of like the idea of that i could always like section the chairs off like this oh yeah that'll be really nice y'all all right first thing i want to do change the floor we're gonna probably use the same floor that we've been using i'm gonna use the same stair railing as well for this stair right here i guess we could do like the same thing for this section just have desks and chairs and bookshelves so i want to put a couple of these out and about i want to also make sure that i get some of these bookshelves just so we can make sure that we have enough all right so for these bathrooms i'm just going to do kind of what i did earlier just make sure that everything looks good maybe we can put some urinals in here if we have space for it but i want to make sure that the stalls themselves are all white and i think i want to get some white tile for the bathroom i want to get rid of the sink in the mirror and I want to replace them with those nice countertops from the base game. I want to get these mirrors from the base game as well. And then as for the sink, we can just use this one from the base game. Okay. I want to see if I can try to squeeze in a urinal or two just maybe on this wall area. We'll just have like two of them on that wall. But honestly, the bathroom is pretty much done. Like we didn't really have to do that much for the bathroom. I also furnished this room off camera. As you can see, it's very similar to the rest of them, but I do like the color scheme in here. Okay, so we only have two more rooms to go. I guess we can tackle this one. This one kind of looks like a study room, if that makes sense. So uh, I guess guess we could use these desks. I don't really dislike these. Maybe we'll reuse these. I'll recolor them. And then maybe we could just have like the lamp and stuff on them. I might put a couple of bookshelves in here too, just to kind of fill in some space. And then I want to kind of get some organization with these desks. I like them kind of being in rows. Maybe I'll just put like an extra row back here. And then as for the bookshelves, I guess we could just get a couple of these and just like kind of put like maybe two on the wall just to kind of fill in this space some more. Okay. I'm pretty much done with this room as well. I like the way it turned out. It kind of looks like a testing room. So maybe like Sims can come here to take tests or something. I don't know. Or it could also just be a study room, whichever you prefer. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move on to the last room. I like the idea of this one, maybe being like a city hall, like town council kind of meeting area. I feel like you would probably do this at the actual city hall, but we'll use this as like a meeting area. So I think what I'll do is I'll get a rug to go down the middle just so I can make sure everything is even on both sides. I think I'm going to get a couple of these these big bookshelves these fill in a good amount of space maybe i'll get a couple of these bookshelves and just put them right here too i feel like there's so many bookshelves in here but i don't really know what else to put because like it's just like a meeting room you know and then to finish off the room i might just add a plant maybe like a plant back there and then maybe like one more back here towards the back of the build but on that note i think i'm pretty much done with the entire build we're just gonna ignore how many extra windows i put but why don't we just check out the whole entire build before we go so when you enter in you have like a foyer area there's not much going on down here we do have some parking spaces for cars and stuff like that i might actually put two more parking spaces and then in the back we have like a little private library area you know suppose you just want to read something but you don't want to go all the way upstairs you can just kind of come down here to read if you want to but once you go upstairs we have a kids area in the back we have like a little like help desk so to speak we have a lot of bookshelves and places to sit we have some nice bathrooms with a lot of space 
and good lighting actually so i'm really happy about that over here we have like an arts and crafts type of room or like a skill building room you can come over here to practice art if you want to yo i just thought about it chess tables oh my gosh i should have put some chess tables in here how did i forget about that i was literally thinking this whole entire time like oh what extra skill building object can i put chess tables okay so now we have a couple of chess tables so now there's an extra skill building object on the slot which i'm really happy about so there's a lot of chess tables but that's pretty much everything for the second floor you know once you go upstairs this is more like to me just a hallway section so i just added some places to sit with a couple of bookshelves there's some chess tables now nothing too fancy going on up here honestly Oh, you know what I just realized too? I need to recolor this chair so it can match. I almost forgot to show off this little office -y space back here. I'd imagine that the librarians probably just come in here to hang out and stuff like that. There's not much going on in there. But when you go upstairs again, we kind of have more or less the same thing. There's some chess tables, bookshelves, plenty of desks, especially in this corner over here. I just wanted to make sure that your Sims could have a lot of space to do work and study and just sit down and stuff like that. I also managed to squeeze in another bathroom. This one looks kind of similar to the other bathrooms though but I wanted to at least have a bathroom on most of the floors just in case you didn't want to go up and down and stuff like that and then once you go upstairs yet again we kind of have like an interesting section so you know we kind of have like the same thing over here just like a library section we have some more bathrooms and then we have like these rooms over here so to me this is more like a study room or like a testing room or something like that you can come up here just to get some peace and quiet we also have like this room which I like to think of this one as being like a town meeting area maybe they have meetings or something in here or maybe if you have meetings for your job you can have like sims come here and do stuff like that so that's kind of what i think this room is supposed to be or at least that's what i'm interpreting it as being but on that note y'all that's pretty much everything for the entire build i am going to leave this one linked down below again i don't really know what they were thinking when they built this originally but whatever the case at least it looks a lot better now right so anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below follow me over on twitch where i stream a lot more of the sims and i'll see you in the next video bye Thanks for watching.